Community leaders from different backgrounds united in celebrating multiculturalism. The Federation of Ethnic Communities Councils insisting there has never been a more important time for such a meeting. It is important because multiculturalism has come under attack, you know, not only in Australia but also worldwide. He was referring to Peter Dutton's proposed tightening of citizenship laws, including a tougher English language test and the requirement for applicants to spend four years as permanent residents. Labor today blasting the changes. The current proposals to change Australian citizenship are the most direct attack on modern multicultural Australia since the abolition of the White Australia policy. is just playing politics as usual uh, with where we should be absolutely united in ensuring that Australian citizenship is valued. But Tony Burke was not alone in his objections. The things we share are not race, are not ancestry and it's not even geography or lifestyle. It's our commitment to an Australian liberal democracy. Labor claims the test requires a university level of English, but not for all migrants. The legislation before the Parliament right now provides an exemption from having to have university level English if you come from the United States, Canada, New Zealand, the UK or Ireland. The proposed changes are poised for defeat, as they're strongly opposed by Labor, the Greens and the Nick Xenophon team. Together they have enough votes to block the legislation and have agreed to move a motion, giving the government just three parliamentary sitting days to bring the bill to a vote. One of the proudest moments my family had was in 1988 when we became Australian citizens. The government has until next Wednesday to bring its citizenship bill to a vote, otherwise it will be struck off.